said if you carry a big stick, just know it. I mean, it ain't three stacks. Cash on my. Again, I'm gonna ask you, man. You you've been in this game longer than me, and you, you know you way more you know seasoned, and you know all you know all the lyrics and wordplay and all that. I'm not even a rapper. Uh, again, I just gotta ask you, what in the world did you hear in first person shooter that made Kendrick want to be that aggressive on that diss track? He won't gonna let two other people say they're the greatest and not respond. That that's basically it. Had he been silent on that record, it's almost like he let it ride. Because, truth be told, Big Sean got in his feelings about this, and he still hurt. Big Sean still salty about the control verse, right? Jonah Lucas spoke out. Like you, 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 you see the ones that are truly into the sport come out and and talk about it. And that's that's what the, that's what hip hop needs. Not and once again, it's between rap, pop, and hip hop, three different things. All, all different. All I respect it all. You know, but I notice sometimes people that do the other two lanes get offended. Because they want their lane to be respected as an art form to the to, but it's different kind of art. So they gotta understand that. This 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 is for the big the the big this is for the grown ups. You remember when you was a kid and the grown ups get in the room, get in the other room, might have a drink, glass of wine or something, playing cards, and uh, you try to run in there, they be like, no no no. Go on, sit in there, go watch the cartoons with the kids. This grown folks in here. This this is grown. Yeah, this, this grown this, folks. This business. grown folks in here, bro. This grown folks in here. You you gotta. All right, man. So I hate to do this to you, but uh, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna nail, I'm gonna nail you down. I think I know your pecking order based on the conversation, but I'm just gonna ask you just so everybody clear. So when we're talking about the big three, these three gentlemen. What order do you put them in? Like, who would you say would be the first, second, and third? Out of these three. Out of these three. <sighs> All right. I'm going to do Kendrick, Cole, Drake. But I really wouldn't put Drake in that same boat with them two. I put... So you saying you would just remove Drake yeah. all together, put Jid yeah. in there? I would. I would. And based on the conversation, you almost making it seem like you think Jid a, a get Cole. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's he don't have enough time in the game yet. He got a he got a, he got a little bit more time. But uh, ah, uh, hold on. Now you good, you good. But basically, you saying the young man's a problem, and uh, basically he gonna be a problem in years to come. If I had to put him in order, uh, I think we, you know, I guess we just feel differently about these gentlemen. I think J. Cole would be first. I think Kendrick would be second. I think Drake would be third. I don't even think of Drake when I think of lyrics. Again, I think he can only try to attack this from a, I make more money than you. Um, I don't know if he wanted to brag about how many women he done been with and all that other kind of stuff. But when it comes to just lyrics, I don't think he really got a shot. The only thing he can try to say is, hey, I'm going to beat Michael Jackson record for being the biggest selling Artists, you know, most songs, number and one songs, and, and all great. that stuff. I mean, um, but ultimately, man, uh, um, it come down to the art. So let me ask you, um, who would you put in Drake slot in that big three? Would would Drake be in your big three? Not even close. I'm almost getting to the point now, and I know this probably going to sound crazy to some people, I don't even really consider Drake a rapper. I mean, I think he fit more of like a like a pop artist or... I mean, I told you, and it sounded crazy to even say this when I said it, but if you go back and listen to the song, you hear what I'm saying. When you go back and listen to that song, No Goddess, with him and Chris Brown, when I first heard it, 
I really couldn't tell a big difference between him and Chris Brown. The only reason why I knew who was who was because Chris Brown had a higher range in his vote. And I know Drake couldn't hit them high notes. But other than that, if you listen to how it sounded, you really couldn't hear a big difference so on who's who. I would tell you that. Ooh, I'm way fuzzy. Um, that. <laughs> uh, Jid and Kendrick are better singers than Drake. Kid, Jid, excuse me, Jid and Kendrick are better singers than Drake. Um, yeah, there might be some truth to that. I, I think what Drake, and I'm not even saying that Drake's a good singer. I think he's just... And this is, and I know it's just kind of crazy now as you think about it, that him and Future doing whatever this little beef is that they got going on. But I think Drake learned a lot from being around Future and being around people like Party Next Door that he kind of mastered the coming up with a catchy melody. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's the best singer, but he is good when it comes to coming up with like a catchy melody and just kind of hot. He do just enough to make it hot, but he ain't really singing, singing, if that yeah, makes sense. I mean, I get it. I get it. But once again, yeah. though, you don't want, he don't want that smoke, though. Smoke is just like, it could be problems. Because then you get... And from some of the stuff I'm hearing and seeing online, they're making it seem like this verse that Kenny just dropped is just a warm-up. They're making it seem like he can go way oh, crazier yeah. oh, than yeah. that. He could. And they And they making it seem like he probably got some stuff in the tuck that he he can run. They say Kendrick will win just because he can do the long game. Like, he can, like, really last, like, song after song after song. Even if Drake responds, you know, Drake on it ain't going to be able to keep up with that kind of pace. Because, because I, I'm telling you, K-Dot studied three stacks. When he got, when he finished Good Kid, Mad City, he said in the interview, the first person he went to was three stacks. He was like, yo, bless this. Like if I if I don't get your blessing, this I, I'm I'm I, I'm not I'm not worthy. That's crazy. So and they ain't a bad person to, to get a get it signed yeah, off. I mean, but at, and 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 the reason why he respected him, like because he know that three stacks was a martyr, right? So he he died on the cross. To, to show that you could be different and still be one of the greatest. 